Hello class, we're starting our third module and it's going to be on rational numbers. So take a minute and mark if I know it, I've heard of it, or I don't know it. Okay, and this time we'll do the after. All right, let's go ahead and begin. All right, so first thing is rational numbers. We're going to be able to classify them. All right, a rational number is any number that can be written as a over b when a and b are both integers and b is not zero. Okay, so I know that's a really long definition, right? Really long, lots of weird stuff in there. Okay, so I'm gonna give kind of like a simplified definition. Okay, rational numbers, okay, I'm gonna write it up here, can be written as a fraction. All right, so that's the short version. You do need both on your paper, okay? Because you need to understand that this is what, um, how we would use it in math terminology, all right? But short answer is it can be written as a fraction. And that's what the a over b is. It's saying that it can be written as a number, an integer over an integer, and both of them have to be integers. Whoops, I'm gonna fix that. There we go. When a and b are both integers. All right, so let's let's test that out. Okay, so what this means is, how do you write negative 15 as a fraction? Okay, well it's negative 15 over one, all right? Um, pause the video, see which ones you can do all by yourself. If you're having trouble remembering, I'm gonna keep going and do uh, two, three, and four. So this one is 31 over, and this is the 10 spot, this is the 100th spot, so it's 100 on the bottom, okay? Some people also think about it as, hey, two zeros, two zeros, all right? Uh, I'm going to come down here. This is almost exactly like the one we did for number one, except it's a positive, okay, over one, right? This one is a little different. Four and five ninths, okay? Um, we make it a mixed number so we can show that it can be A over B. So we times and we add, right? Four times nine plus five, okay, 36 plus five gets me 41. And I keep the same denominator, so 41 over nine, all right? If you have not already paused it, try five through four, write them as A over B, okay? And these are your models that you can look back on. Pause it, try it. So if you look below, 11 over 1, 2 over 10, because this is the 10th spot, so 2 tenths. Uh, this one you can write as 22 over 11 or as 2 over 1. Both work because they're both A over B. And this one, 3 times 2 is 6, plus 1 is 7, 7 thirds. All right, let's take a look at our next page, which for me is a new page. For you, it's just the bottom of the page, all right? This time, we are going to classify some numbers, all right? So first, we got to know what are they? Well, we already know rational numbers, all right? So they're things that can be written as A over B, all right? So we know that includes fractions, okay? And we know and decimals that end. Okay, so things like pi are not actually rational because they have to end. I cannot write pi as a fraction, all right? I'm just gonna set this up here. Um, integers, we just did that, right? Integers are positive, negative, whole numbers, and zero.
Okay, and you are writing this down so that you have it. You're writing it in that box. Okay, it's going in the box. Um, whole numbers, they are just your positive numbers and zero. Positive whole numbers, my bad. All right, positive whole numbers and zero. And I don't know what's up with me spelling zero wrong. All right, um, so whole numbers are integers, okay? This is a Venn diagram, so if the circle is in there, they are in common. All whole numbers are integers. All integers are rational numbers, okay? As we move farther out into the bigger circles, we just encompass more things, okay? So let's, let's test this out. If I'm looking at 14.1, all right? It is a fraction or decimal that ends. I can write it as A over B, all right? Is it a positive or negative whole number or zero? It is not, so it will go up here, okay? But, well, actually, this one is just a rational number. I don't know what I was going to say, okay? Um, let's look at 101. I'm going to cross that off so I know I did it. 101. So 101, fraction does decimals the end, and let me add a little bit more. Okay, and anything that can be written as A over B, okay? So we just proved this not too long ago that any whole number we can write as A over B, all right? So we know that this is a rational number, okay? We know it. Is it also an integer? Well, yeah, it's positive and it's a whole number, so it's also an integer. Is it a whole number? It's positive, and it's a whole number. It's positive, okay? So that means it actually goes in the very center. It's all three things. So if I was labeling it, it would have an R, and an I, and a W, because it's all three things, okay? This one, it would only have an R, because it's only a rational number. It's not anything else today. Okay, try it, pause the video, try the le next four, all right? All right, I'm going to jump, and I'm going to do this seven and one-fifth. Well, I, it's, I can write this as a fraction, okay? Is it an integer? Is it a positive or negative whole number? It is not. So it's got to stay out here at the rational number section, okay? Seven and one-fifth. Um, so it's just a rational number. What about negative eight? Well, I know I can write it as A over B, so it's it's a rational number. Could, is it an integer? Well, it's an it's a negative whole number. Okay, so it's a, we know it's going to go at least here. Is it a whole number? Is it a positive whole number or zero? It is not. It's not a positive one, so it's going to stay out here in the integer. All right, but if I'm labeling it, it's a rational number, and it's an integer. Okay, um, what's next? I guess I'll go back to blue. Um, I got this negative three-fourths. Well, it's written as A over B, so we know it's here. Is it a positive or negative whole number or zero? It is not, so it's got to stay out here. Okay, so out here in the rational numbers, where they're only irrational, is where you put your decimals and your fractions, okay? And zero, well, it's it's a rational number. I can write it as A over B. Is it a positive or negative whole number and zero? It is zero. It is zero, so it's actually gonna go in here. And it is a rational number. Oopsies, there we go. An integer and a whole number, okay? We will practice more on writing things as A over B and our classification tomorrow. All right, have a great day.